What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. As you guys just saw, I picked up some pole dancing for two reasons. One is I'm doing stripping on the side and number two, I'm actually doing JLo's diet and exercise for the entire day. Everyone seems to think she looks so great for being 50, but in reality, she looks great for any age period. That's pretty much like saying you look great for a pregnant woman. So I'm gonna be following her exact diet and training. So let's go into breakfast. All right, so breakfast is gonna be a smoothie. So in this, I have one and a quarter cups of mixed berries, a quarter teaspoon or tablespoon of honey, a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, a pinch of cinnamon, uh, lemon juice, and then blend it all up with some water. Um, so there's actually no coffee with this meal, unfortunately. She does not drink coffee or any caffeine for that matter, and alcohol, so my coffee with Bailey's will have to wait for another day. Um, so she actually doesn't eat that much food. In total, according to the source that I'm using, she only eats 1,400 calories a day. And to be quite honest with you, I thought it was 1,400 calories per butt cheek, but hey, you know what, it works for her. So we are gonna drink this on the way to the gym right now. I'm gonna go do a JLo workout, so let's go. Something about smoothies does not do it for me. Like, I like them, but it just doesn't satiate this. Like, people go to the gym, take pre-workouts. This is like a pre-breakfast for the actual breakfast. Uh, but anyway, JLo works out four to five times a week. She's always constantly changing it up. Has different trainers in LA, New York. When she comes here, she trains with me. But the workout we're gonna be doing today is from David Kirsch, and that is her New York trainer. We're gonna be doing the full body workout. It seems like a high intensity interval kind of circuit style thing, so pretty excited to try that out. So we'll see if it kicks my ass or not. All right, so we're in the gym right now, and outside the gym, she's known as JLo, but inside the gym, she is known as La Guitara. Why? Because her body is shaped like a guitar, and I'm here shaped like a La Flute. So the work that we're gonna be doing is a full body blast. It's 32 minutes long, 16 exercises, and each thing is 20, uh, 20 reps, unless otherwise specified. But before we get into the workout, I wanna show you guys her favorite glute exercise, which is called the Platypus Walk, that David Kirsch says is the single most effective thing that you can do for your glutes. So this is what it is right here. So you're gonna get down low. Is this what, do platypus look like this? Feeling it. All right, let's get into the actual workout. On to exercise number four right now. I'm already out of breath. We're doing lateral lunges, so I have this like slider here. Yeah. Slightly concerned I might tear my glutes doing this, but. Give it a shot, I've never done it before. You feel it right away in your butt after one rep. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be that hard. Next up we have medicine ball slams. If you want to get assassinated at the gym, this is the exercise that you do because it creates a lot of noise.
Glad I was gonna do the workout. So as you guys can see, that was only 32 minutes long, so you actually don't need a lot of time in the gym to get a good workout in. So I was thinking about doing her ab workout, then I looked at it and I thought better of it because I'll put it on the screen right now. So it starts off everything 50 reps, then everything 35 reps, and then everything 21 reps. And guess how much break you get between sets? None, so I'm not gonna do it. You guys should give it a shot if you want to. I just don't have it in me. So now we're gonna go back to the car, have a little snack, head home, and then cook up some lunch. Again, very tough workout, and that, the good thing about that one is that it's just very little equipment, so you could probably even do that one at home. But now we are gonna have a snack, and JLo always carries snacks around with her. She always has fruits or veggies, and luckily, I always carry an apple in my glove box. So I have one here. Not actually, I just put it in for the video. But it has to be a medium-sized apple. It cannot be a large one, or it cannot be a small one. It just won't cut it. So always has fruits and veggies. It's a really good tip if you're hungry throughout the day and don't wanna resort to having some bad like chips or something like that. Good snacks. All right guys, so lunch is served. We have a big kale salad here. There is also queso, pumpkin seeds, uh, olive oil, lemon, and then it calls for shallots. I didn't know how shallots, so I used some onions. And then I added my own little flair. I added some balsamic reduction. So I guess I'm boozier than Jennifer Lopez. Um, also a lot of water. She drinks a lot of water throughout the day. That's pretty much her drink of choice. Um, even the cameraman's having a JLo salad cameraman's living like JLo today as well. Um, so also everything that she eats is organic. That's another side note. So she's just overall very healthy. Balance focuses on the whole foods, which is pretty awesome. Overall, the salad looks pretty good. When I was making it, I was kind of just like, damn, but it is missing a nice piece of protein in the middle, maybe like a salmon piece of chicken. But I guess the queso and the pumpkin seeds are the protein source of that, but it's a little bit low, but oh well. Right, so salad is complete overall really enjoyed it. I haven't had a kale salad in ages So I guess the one benefit of salad is you can eat tons of it and just never be satisfied So JLo has been known lately for the pole dancing like in the Super Bowl and then the movie hustlers And as you guys saw in the intro there, I did some pole dancing So I'm gonna take you guys back and show you guys a little bit more about what I did I am dizzy as hell doing this So we've been pole dancing for like 50 minutes now and it's like a complete full body workout. Like arms, legs, a bunch of places I didn't even know I had are feeling it right now. So I might actually implement this into my cardio regimen. We'll see. So that is gonna wrap up the workout. I don't know how many people would be throwing a dollar at me, but I have a whole new appreciation for pole dancers now. Next time I go to a, a strip club, I'll probably be stuffing their underwear with a hundred, not one dollar bills, but definitely to come back, signing up for a package, and maybe I'll do a video, a video in the future about a full pole dancing segment. So stay tuned for that. So it's a little after five o'clock now. I usually don't eat dinner until like 7.38, but I'm starving. I guess that's what happens when you follow a five foot five to five foot six woman's diet. So anyway, we are having chicken breast, sweet potato and Brussels sprouts. So I have a chicken breast on the stove right here. And then I'm about to take out the Brussels sprouts and sweet potato. I love Brussels sprouts. It's actually one of our favorite veggies, fun fact. There. So typically if I was eating this, I'd just put, be like, and then, you know, throw this all on, but not, I'm not, like, I'm not well today, I'm J-Lo. So it's actually only a quarter of a cup of each one. So that's a quarter of a cup, a lot smaller than I thought. Hopefully it means um, quarter cup packed. 
Yeah, we're packing it. I don't care. I don't care, J-Lo. Yeah, that's quarter cup. Yeah, that makes me want to cry. So now we're gonna do a quarter cup of the sweet potato. There we go. What the, that's sad. Wait, I feel like I'm feeding Ollie right now. Okay, so we just wait on the chicken breast and then we eat. So dinner is served, AKA the tasting sample. This is pretty much a three bite dinner. We got a quarter cup Brussels sprouts, quarter cup sweet potato and a chicken breast. Uh, I mean, I don't even think I need a time lapse for this, but overall it looks pretty good. I wish I just had 40 times the amount. I don't know how she eats this little, cause she's actually like, I think she was five foot five, 145 pounds. And like, I don't even know how this would sustain her. Because her workouts are no joke. Like that 32 minute workout was intense. Her ab workout, like I showed you guys, was intense. Pole dancing is crazy. So the fact she's living on 1400 calories is blowing my mind. Well, that lasted a total of 45 seconds. And for some reason, I'm hungrier than when I started eating, which is great. But that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. That is the wait, full. Wait, 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 wait. What? Jelly eats a uh, jelly dessert. She what? Jelly dessert. She eats a chocolate chip cookie every day. Can I get a chocolate chunk cookie, please? So I just went to Subway to pick up the chocolate chip cookie. I'm gonna make an educated guess and say JLo will probably just get her cookies at Subway. But this is one of her guilty pleasures alongside chocolate chip ice cream. So she usually does one or the other, but I thought I'd just do both in her honor. I mean, we should do things for other people, right? I thought I'd make her smile. So chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chip uh, ice cream. Let's get it down. I'm excited for this one. Now this is how you grow the JLo glutes, guys. See, the thing is, she can get away with eating stuff like this every single day because look how well she ate during the day. So if you eat really well during the day, you have, you have some leeway to have some stuff that you kind of enjoy later at night. So it's kind of cool that she incorporates stuff like this. Okay guys, so I am gonna wrap up the video here. JLo is an absolute beast. She's doing everything the right way. Uh, her approach to fitness is very sustainable. In my opinion, she has a whole food based diet, organic at nighttime, she allows herself a little treat, which is what I like. The 80-20 rule, 80% of the time you're good, 20% of the time that you're bad. Uh, she's in the gym four to five times a week. Her workouts are very quick and efficient, 32 minute full body workout. Like who does not have the time for that? Uh, so that's gonna wrap up the video guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.